wanted to mention that there was a video that went viral over the weekend that underscores the tension between mm -hmm. newcomers and longtime residents in the city. The video appears to show a group of young men wearing drop box jerseys arguing with some local kids over who had the use of a soccer field in the Mission District. And the guys who are wearing the drop box jerseys say they have a permit, while the kids say they've been playing pickup games there for years. Well, I'd like to find out what both candidates' reaction is to this. But you, David Chu? You know, certainly the situation that uh, I saw on video uh, over the weekend, uh, incredibly unfortunate. And when you have kids on one side who've been used to playing on a field and you have folks on the other side who had gotten a permit to play in that field and there's a confrontation, what I think everyone needs to do is really take a deep breath and figure out how we can work together to move this city forward. Um, we are in an intense housing affordability crisis, um, and President Obama has said inequality is the defining challenge of our time. We've got new issues that we need to work on, but we have to figure out how to work together. I don't think the solution uh, to some of this, as some folks may want to suggest, in including David Compass's supporters, are to throw rocks at the Google buses, or uh, he likes to protest in front of technology company headquarters to kick people out of San Francisco. We have to figure out how we move things forward. So, for example... David Campos, you saw the video. It's been called Tech Fuel Gentrification. Mm -hmm. Well, let me say this, that, uh, again, you know, David was attacking me, and it's one thing for him to attack me, but let's be very clear about this video. I don't think that you should equate the kids in that video with people throwing rocks at anything. I actually thought the kids, the way they handle themselves, the, the young people in that video was pretty so admirable. Dropbox kids who were kind of obnoxious uh, and apologized, and, actually. And, and yeah. so I want to be very clear about that. I think that, that, yes, we need to find some middle ground. But I think that the problem with, with what we saw in that video uh, illustrates what a lot of people are feeling in these neighborhoods, mm -hmm. which is people who have been long-term residents of San Francisco, places like the Mission, they feel that they're being pushed out and that there is a, a, a set of rules that they have to follow, and then there is a separate set of rules for everyone else. And in this case, you know, I have repeatedly said that our rec and park department is too focused on privatizing public space. Look, there has to be a way in which we allow everyone to enjoy the playground. The kids in that video, by the way, had the right idea. Why don't we all just play? Yeah. It was some of these other adults who actually did not do that. But my point is this, that a lot of people feel like the city is for sale, that if you have more money, that you can just buy your way into certain things.